Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm into knives, but I haven't really gotten deep into it, except, you know, I started... Somehow I got hooked on the Microtex, and then we're here at SHOT Show 2019 in Las Vegas, and Jesse, who always... You know, always makes me spend money. Where is he? He's hiding out now. Look, see Jesse James over there. The real, the real Jesse James. He brought me into this. Uh, he found, found a really cool spot. PVK knives, right? Yep. That's there we right. go. PVK Vegas. Yeah, that's PVK. Cool. We're back in the VIP area. You know, I don't get into the VIP of anything <laughs> too often, but we're back in the the VIP spot. So, and uh, I'm actually I picked out this knife. What is this? That is a UTX 85. UTX 85, so the yeah. fellow's here. Who, who? I'm John. John, I'm John's Taco. here. There he you go. He does all our photography. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. I do, I've worked for photography. Yeah. That's AKA the Moonlight over there. Right, yeah. I do all the, everything that you see uploaded to the website, that's, that's all me and oh, sweet. a little bit of Josh. Okay. He, he, he does the, uh, the final, hey, you left some dust on this, you left some dust okay. on that. <laughs> Are you Josh? No, I'm the sales manager, Dakota. This is Dakota. Dakota, okay, yeah. So these guys let me, why did you let me into the VIP? What's wrong yeah, with you? You seem like a really reasonable individual that <laughs> deserved to come yeah. check out some but It's oh, the level-headedness. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Had nothing to do with They got that, that totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So I hear that the the real knife aficionados out there are gonna be jealous because we're we're back here. But I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna get this, and then we're gonna get it customized, right? That's right. We're gonna do some wicked laser stuff. Too. Yeah, we're gonna throw some Hank Strange awesomeness on it, and I think these guys are gonna ship it out to me, and I'll do an unboxing. So that's what this video is gonna go with. So probably the next time, like we'll we'll do a cut here, and we'll cut to I don't know a couple days or something like that yeah. later, and then I would have gotten this turned into something even more awesome. It'll so, just make it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we do a good job. The yeah, absolutely. Really yeah. Honest, yeah. So. yeah. I, I'm pretty sure these guys, based on what I've seen around here, if you really got maybe Lolo will roll in some B-roll of the, some of the awesomeness. Or are you not allowed to see this unless you actually come no, to No, no, you're here. good. You can do a little okay. bit of B-roll. You're totally showing all the PBK awesome, yeah, awesome yeah, customs Just a little here. bit, though. Not all of it. Not all of it. So right here, this is, <laughs> yeah. this is just a little bit of yeah. what we have in stock. Open the glass. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. Tell us what, what these are. I'm going to start at the top okay, here. Okay, so this, these right here are our Protex, our Kershaws. This right here is a Magic the Gathering theme. This is an elf. This has a multicolored blade here with a color spikes right there. I, I see that. And this is a Josh Burbank Geisha. His very, very classic. It's, it's like his, his signature thing. Really well known for it. They're little Kershaws. Have to, have to have some horror theme ones. Okay. We do all kinds of, kinds of custom flame work. We have mixed riders. We even do our own etching. So right in here, this actually has its own texture. You can actually feel like an, an eggshell, an egg, an egg peel finish is what it's called. An or orange peel, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, I, I messed with that one earlier. Mm-hmm. Give it all kinds of little cool stuff. Oh yeah, I see that. Nice. Okay. And what other options are down here? So down here, some of our our Microtech lines. Like this is this is the Cipher. This is the Cipher Hydra themed. We have multicolor hardware, which takes quite a bit of time to make happen. So what's what's the turnaround? Is the turnaround all depending on what you're asking for? Uh, tur the turnaround is usually how long it takes for us to to complete the item. Um, it's. And, and how long it, it takes us to design the art and to be able to put it on here. Okay, so what is the turnaround? About two, two, two hours to get this done. Okay. What? So, someone, so someone can come in here during this day in Vegas, come in here You can totally just out. walk right yeah, on in and just okay. make, one of the, make this happen for you at any okay. point in time. Okay. You pretty much get anything done. Okay. Like if you want to set, send something over and wait for us to get a Cerakoted batch done, we could totally do that for you too. Okay. And so you do all knives. I see you've got Benchmade, you've got an HK back there, the Microtex up here. Okay. All the way up to... All the way up to our Markdown Customs. The Markdown Customs, okay. Which is which are these over here. Okay. Oh. Uh, so Marfion Custom, so there's Microtech. Marfion is uh, uh, actually Anthony Marfion. He's the proprietor and founder of, uh, of Microtech. What Marfion Customs are is his custom line. The, the knives he actually took time out of his day 
to hand ground, to do all the little the finishing stuff on it to make sure that all these knives work uh, a lot better than the uh, the production models. The production models, however, are still great, but these knives he has his personal touch on, Got which it. is why they, they have that extra bit of money. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. I take a, wait, take a look at one or two of those? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, I see you guys have got a lot of Microtech, yeah. even like the latest ones. Why, why is that? Uh, we're actually uh, Microtech's largest dealers worldwide, so we carry more, uh, <laughs> we carry more and sell more merchandise than anybody. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So what's the one we're looking at? Uh, this is actually a Warhound right here. This is my personal favorite. It's a full DLC with copper accents. It's a DLC Warhound blade. Love this thing. This is my favorite knife ever. It's very nice. And DLC does not stand for downloadable content. It stands for <laughs> diamond-like coating. Okay. Just so you guys know. <laughs> All right. If it did have some downloadable content, it would be pretty sweet, though. Okay. What else you got in there? This is another Warhound. This one's got a copper top with a DLC blade. Just showing you how different they can come. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it does have downloadable content. Right. Oh, blood. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, what's that rubberized grip one up here? Yeah. Do, do that one more time if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, just tell me all the all the parts of it again. This okay. one is the, start it's a again. It's full titanium handle, mm -hmm. M390 steel. It's got a uh, flame titanium backspacer and a flame titanium skull crusher as well as a mirror polished blade. Nice. And that's a yeah, deep mirror so polish blade. Yeah. yeah. The mirror polish. Yeah, the oh, edges yeah. on these things are yeah. incredible, too. So I know that um, this costs a little bit more money, and when people look at it, they're like, oh my god. But there's custom knives that are way, way more than this. Right behind and, you, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, is these are still really beautiful to me. It's a good deal, considering, like what you said, that, you know, Mr. Marfione is there doing that yeah. work himself and all that. So I think it's a pretty good deal, you know? It's like even this one right here. So like the mirror polish on here, he does by hand. This is a hand rub, or a hand rub satin DLC blade on an Annex. Annex is a pretty wicked little knife. Nice. It's aircraft aluminum alloy. <laughs> M3, or M390 blade, and that's uh, like a DLC finish on it, Sat hand rub satin. And I see you even have just the, even the new Microtex, it's these rubberized. Um, uh, no, these aren't, these ones aren't too new. Like, no? uh, let's see, this one's a newer one. This is actually a Borka, uh, Borka Blades and uh, Marfion collaboration. Uh, this is Stingray skin right here. Check so, that out, that's how close it right? is. Right? <laughs> that's exactly the same, Stingray, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I love these, by the way. Yeah. And then, so again, this is a Borka and Marfion Custom. So we got the Marfion dagger here, and we got the Borka on the blade here, because Sebastian did the, did the grind on this blade, which is why he did his famous little rock grind mm. on this awesome little Tonto. And then, uh, like I said, yeah, st so Stingray skin, awesome collaboration. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. They even have the comb, the comb version. Oh, yeah. I don't see an Afro pick, but, you know. Right. <laughs> you know, you can, can still, see? that's like really, that's really like a beard comb, right? That is a beard comb, yeah. Yeah. Comb. So, if I could ever grow a beard, <laughs> then I would use the beard comb. <laughs> Now, but these are cool. <laughs> now, which yeah, one is the, the one that's got the complicated yeah. way that you open and close it? Uh, there can all be complicated. It really depends. Oh, you're talking about the halo. The halo. Yeah. yeah. This that's is right. a halo five right here. Oh, that looks Mirror good. Mirror polish. Mm -hmm. This is a halo five splash. This is splash anodizing. That that is so Vegas right there. Right. <laughs> Uh, the Halo 5 is actually, the Halo in general, all the Halos, are uh, they're designed to, to be very powerful. So it's one of the only knives in the world that will go straight through your hand. Or watermelon, there's actually tons of videos online of them going through watermelons and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, that doesn't have the safety yeah. that all the other knives This is have. the Halo 6. See, uh, the, the difference between the Halo 5 and the Halo 6 is the button up here is a little depressed, or is a little, it's up pressed while this is a little bit depressed. So you like you can uh, when you charge uh, the Halo the Halo Six right here, you don't have to worry about it going off so much. Are you pushing it while it's in your pocket? So you can pocket carry it, which is actually illegal in most states. Wouldn't do it. Don't recommend it. But on the off chance that you do happen to press up against something, it's not 100% go off in your pocket. There's still a chance that it will go off in your pocket. So that's what they do with fixing the button. There's also the Halo Six that comes with the uh, the safety on it, which is actually a lot better and a lot more. Uh, well, people recommend it. I like this one better though. Honestly, if I'm going to carry this, I would, I'd just carry it with the sheath and everything. But the Halo 6 with the safety on it, you can just pop in your pocket. There's no way it's going to go off whatsoever. And that's a DLC finish on here. Nice. Yeah. Very but cool. the uh, the reason why it has a charge handle is because uh, the, uh, the, char or the, the, spring, the spring mechanism in here is so powerful that if you try to pop it up and down with your finger, most people wouldn't be able to do it. So they went with a charge handle. 
Awesome. Yeah. So here, let's let these guys take a last look. And, and uh, Dakota, if, if folks want to like get some knives from you or whatever, come by and visit, where do they go to get info? pvk.com. PVK. And then you guys are on Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Um, all Reddit. the good social medias. Yeah, <laughs> so this is it. This is like, I'm going to close it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm putting it properly yeah, in the know. box. Okay, let me let a professional That's do it. That's a manual right there. Private yeah. information. <laughs> Pop it up in there. there you go. So one of the things that you guys could do is that you can leave it with the PBK guys. And they can do some awesome custom work. And then ship it out to you. That's exactly what's going to happen here. And through the magic of the tubes, boom, I'll have this. Something like that. And then there'll be magic. And then I'll have a box in my hands. <laughs> Bam. And we are back from SHOT Show. Just got in the uh, PVK package. It's right here in this, uh, I guess this is the post office box. And I'm going to open it now and take a look at it. So let's do that. So inside the, uh, the priority mailbox, there is another box in here. So I'm going to take that out. That is the Microtech box, which I'll show you guys there. And it's got Hank Strange on it. And uh, it's the UTX-85, which I already showed you guys. Before I open that, I think there's some other stuff in here. It looks like a business card from the guys at PVK Vegas. Boom. Okay, if you guys want to do it. If you're going to be in Vegas, like for SHOT Show, Knife Show, any other shows, they have tons of them, tons of those shows there. Stop by PVK Vegas and uh, check out their knives and get something custom done. There's also a cool sticker in there, so... Shout out to those guys. Okay, I'm gonna open this now. Oh, let's see what I think when I open it. And <laughs> okay, so the thing is, I asked the guys at Vegas to, you know, at PVK Vegas to do, you know, whatever they wanted to do. It's actually pretty amazing what I'm seeing. So, all right, let's let's show these guys. Spin around here, Lola, so they could see what I'm seeing. All right, so it's still in the plastic. Um, let's take it out here. Boom, look at that. That is the Hank Strange logo all up over this knife on both sides. Very nice. And um, the trigger of the knife coming in and out, looks like they've done some uh, custom laser work to that as well. You guys can see that as well as it looks like they did a little bit around here to the glass breaker. The clip is the clip, which is cool. You know, it says Microtech. It has my uh, the born on date, which is uh, 8-2018 on this one and the serial number and everything. But that is really cool. And I like how they left the Microtech claw, whatever, I guess, I don't know if that's like an eagle or some kind of bird of prey. I like how they left that there. Very nice. And it has hashtag Hank Strange up on it there you go this is my very own design by the way and then look at the bolts inside they also did that laser engraving to the bolts and that's really cool Lola I know you're jealous right now you can admit it um, and then the knife is the knife the way that it was but I mean um, yeah that's awesome Tonto. The Tonto with the blood vein in it. Man, that's really cool. I really like this. You know what? I was going to give this to Lola for her birthday that just passed, but you don't you don't like this, right, Lola? So you don't need you don't need one of these. I think I'll just hold on to it myself. Maybe maybe I'll get one for Lola for her next birthday. We'll see, but that is really cool. Job well done by these guys. I'm going to see how close I can go in there and show you guys, but this is the new Hank Strange logo that we're using across Hank Strange Media. So we're using it on the podcast, the Who Moved My Freedom podcast, which is on the Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded channel. And we're also using it on Hank Strange. And um, we're even using the same logo on Stranger Palooza, which is where we do cars. So, wow, I really like that, man. I like the detail. I like the fact that they did the laser, that laser scaling to to the button and to the glass breaker I don't know if you guys can see it well I'll try to get in some uh, close-up shots but that's it's almost like a, you know Louis Vuitton or Gucci or whatever around it but it's Hank Strange and it's all mine you can't have it I'm the only one 
that is allowed to have that. You know, maybe I'll get some more knives like these if you guys are into it. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll make them available somehow for folks out there. The real diehard super fans. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's go back to the rest of the video we did at PBK right now. Uh, so yeah, art takes time though, guys. So you know, <laughs> give us some time if you ever have anything that you have requests us to do, any special stuff. It takes time, but we will in fact take care of you and we'll do a good job because we just want to see you guys smile. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Uh oh, what? is that a real? Is that? that is legitimate. Hold that tight. Uh, right, so and then what? what, what Safety's down, down. You're one of one of right there. Okay. Yeah, and I've got to hold this somewhere. Just hold really it tight. You should be fine. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so pull down the safety. Pull safety's, up the safety's down. down. Yeah, just pop safety's it. down. Oh, okay, so I could just... Yep. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Ready. <laughs> wasn't <laughs> that bad. It's a short sword. You guys yeah, maybe think it's... Nice. You never know, though. I felt like, because we, we've had, we have oh. other ones. That yeah, like no, we have another one that fires hands hard. Yeah, For what kind of man? I mean, I shoot full club. auto stuff. I thought it was going to go... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> no. It's like, this guy's telling me to hold it tight. Yeah, that's not that bad. Yeah. So, is that is that real? Yeah. Is that a real? It's a real thing. Holy cow. It's and not imaginary, I can promise you. This okay. is in my hand right now. Okay, and so yeah. what is someone going to use that for? What are we hunting? This is you know, a, if you're hunting the giant. Yeah, it would be looking like a normal switchblade. <laughs> that's that's the lazy man's box cutters. You know, if you have a bad back, you don't want to bend down. Just, you know. I'll tell you what right this there. is for, man. You <laughs> oh go to gosh. a gunfight, and then people say, let me, you go, listen, let me just get out my knife. Right? You never bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> 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 Still not a good idea. <laughs> All right, so there you go. You guys have seen some awesomeness. All right, so now if you're if you're interested in it, you said that you can go to PVK. Is it PVK Vegas or just? You can look up PVK Vegas. Will come up, but PVK.com is the is the handle. So okay, yeah. awesome. But so, you type PVK Vegas for the first thing. Yeah. And the only thing. <laughs> yeah. Instagram, so, Facebook, all that yeah. kind of good stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. No, no problem. Thanks okay. for stopping by. All bro. right. It was a awesome. pleasure. Awesome. Make sure you guys grab some water on your way out. Absolutely. Some soda, some Red Bull. We're in the VIP. Vodka room. and cranberry. Be <laughs> Vodka and cranberry sounds yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. we're going to do that. All right. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, ring the bell, all that kind of good stuff. We're out of here. Peace. Thanks, Jesse. You can give, you can give Jesse a little bit of credit. A, a little bit of credit. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't really money. want everyone to see him. Helping him spend <laughs> some money. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The man behind the scenes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The real Santa. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>